All right, they're off. This is New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runner's Alley. Meet coverage today brought to you by Hoka, season sponsor that they are. We can see this action is already underway. They're going to go ahead, go around this track, and then they'll be coming at us. We'll be able to take a look at the teams that are here as they come around. Merrimack Valley out in front right now, followed by Inner Lakes 1 and 2. Lebanon, another Merrimack Valley. Looks like we got some Belmont in there, the host school. Two, three, four, a bunch of Messenics up towards the front. We've got a solid four, but lack the depth in the fifth, so we'll see how that plays out for them today. <coughs> Pretty unique start here where, you know, we, we see him for quite a bit right off the, the rip of it. And speaking of unique, the course itself is pretty unique in its distance, 5,142 meters. If you're curious as to why you're not alone, go ahead and ask Scott. I don't think Scott knows, because this is well before his time at the helm. Interlake's taking the lead coming out of the track. We got this 100 meter stretch before they hit in the woods, and the woods get narrow, so it's it's good to find some space in there. Takes a look at his watch, making sure he's on pace as he comes by us. Again, like you said, Inner Lakes, Merrimack Valley, Lebanon, Inner Lakes Valley, Belmont with a pair, Messenic with a pair, Newfound with a pair as well. And then they're all clustered from there. A decent number of teams here. Yep. I think uh, I heard Scott say 11. That's solid for uh, it's not bad Division for three. D3 yeah. Thursday invite. Yep, yeah, that's right. You can see Lebanon made the trip. Linwood. They are typically here every year, so we see them, as well as Prospect Mountain, not too far away, Newfound as well. Watch out, they're coming, guys. You need to be up against Pressing them. that hill and then coming down. Top runner from Lebanon. Evan Foster, a Newfound. One of the two top Inner Lakes boys. You can see some of these guys running on the, the dirt, some on the pavement. Inner Lakes number two. Either option is allowed. Typically a, a preference based on spikes or no spikes. John Stark, we got Newfounds number two. Merrimack Valley's number two. Belmont's first. Lebanon second. Two Messenic together. So we've got four teams with two people through right now in the top ten. Oh guys. You guys can start rolling. <coughs> Merrimack Half Valley, three. The Phoenix, three. Go, Dylan. Go, Dylan. Go, hey, you're great down here. Laconia coming. That's the Phoenix number four. Laconia again. Merrimack Valley, Inner Lakes. Let's go, we need help. Go, go, Home go. Home team go, go. Belmont with a pair. <clears throat> Another John Stark. I'll keep an eye on Couple of John, John Stark athletes separated. <laughs> Laconia, Bishop Brady, Lebanon has duo there. Again, they went up a short uphill to get to that point right there. Go back around here, coming down. Merrimack Valley, Lebanon, Bishop Brady. Decent amount of separation between these athletes at this point in the race. But 
does look like everyone's able to have someone kind of with them as we go ahead and we need help and turn because we can catch our leader right here still out in front from Lebanon you can see that lead probably about 15 meters or so Evan Foster newfound this is either heard from Interlakes and two guys towards the front Cole Meyer Mac Valley's number one, John Stark's number one, Interlake's number two, Newfound. So right now, it's all a battle between Newfound and Interlake. You look great. Pop this and open up. Merrimack Valley's second. You got this. The Messenics first and second working together. Lebanon second. Go boys, Let's go boys, go, 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 Hard all the way in now, boys. <clears throat> can see them coming down, that's what we were looking at before. They continue down that pavement, go around the baseball field, and then coming back up this hill at us. Once they get to this point, they kind of take a turn into the woods for their valley third. Second got, lap around it. Yep, we got the scenic third, so valley and uh, Merrimack Valley and the scenic. First one's with three. <clears throat> Belmont now is three. Interlakes will have three. Messenic has four. So really, the key is going to be whether or not they can bring their fifth guy up. There's a lot of people in between them. Saw a couple of teammates doing a little high five across the line there <coughs> as they're rolling in opposite directions. Pretty good look too if we take a look down the stretch. You can see kind of the, the surface that they're going on. Nice mix of grass, dirt, pavement, track. A little bit of everything as fast as we probably should be. All right, majority of you guys pass us. We're going to head to the finish. Coming into the track is our leader from Lebanon. Zoom out a bit, we can see that the lead he had last time we saw him has increased. Second and third now onto the track. At this point, he's going around it. Once they get to this camera, he'll be at the finish. Go faster! You gotta go, Chuck! You gotta keep sprinting! He's not right behind you! You are making up a little bit of ground. He's not the speediest kid. Let's go, Eli Lemire from John Stark making some inroads, by the way. It's at an angle here. You might be right on breaking his feet in here. Kick, Chip! Just kick faster, harder, whatever you kick. Lebanon takes a look over his shoulder. Still got 60, 70 meters on second. He comes on to the final straight. Here we go, Chip! Come on, Evan! And he will go ahead and take this. Come on, Colin. Evan, quick feet, come on. Second place also on that finishing stretch. Evan, now. John Stark. Evan, Bring it. Evan, finish. That's it, Evan. Finish. Third finish. will go to Newfound. Really good run, Evan. Merrimack Valley. Inner Lakes being pushed by Newfound. Both with a pretty good kick. New Interlakes is going to take it, though. <laughs> Strong kick by both those guys. Got Messenics number one now. And as we look across the way, you can see Interlake with another. 
BT Sprint! Followed by Masinic. See if they're fourth and fifth were able to move up at all. Lebanon, Belmont, Merrimack Valley. And we've got a pretty decent gap there till our next runner. Takes a look over his shoulder. Another Merrimack Valley. He's giving it all he can to finish this one out. And we've got a few guys in this mix now. Big kick from Inner Lakes. He's going to swing out, but first Laconia, then Messenic. Inner Lakes going to go ahead and try and get that one at the finish. Not quite enough as we see Laconia and Belmont are next. John Stark, Lebanon, Merrimack Valley, Belmont again. Again, good mix of guys in here. Good mix for the team scoring as well. And turn our attention to Lebanon out in front now over John Stark. John Stark going to the arms. Takes a look down, powers up. Lebanon challenging. John Stark will end up taking that battle with Messenic coming in third of that trio. Laconia, looks like he's been running alone for a little bit. He'll come on to the finishing stretch. Next coming down the way, looks like it will be athlete from John Stark. Go Sam! Go Sam! Go Sam! You got 100 meters, 200 meters. Too much stuff still. Or not any. Come on, Chris. Potential of another battle forming, but before we get to that, we do have Merrimack Valley with another finisher. MV again, followed by Lebanon. John Stark getting passed by Prospect Mountain. Prospect Mountain will finish that one out in front. Newfound Grady. Go Jensen, go Jensen! MV. Good finish, buddy. Newfound now on the straight. No pressure on him as he finishes things up. The scenic looking to be the next to cross. Followed by Bishop Brady and John Stark. Brady checking over his shoulder, making sure he won't get past at the last point. Had 39 finishers so far. Looks like 40th spot belongs to Interlakes. Although Lebanon starting to come on hard. Lebanon might be able to make this pass. Going on the inside, Interlakes is going to hold it off over Lebanon for 40 and 41. Merrimack Valley. I believe this is Moulinboro, followed by Bishop Brady. 
He takes a look over his shoulder. Good battle here, Belmont, Laconia. Laconia makes the pass, full head of steam. He's gonna make that trip across the finish line first. Newfound, Belmont. Couple more good strong kicks. Prospect Mountain, Newfound. Prospect Mountain, Lebanon. Inner Lakes with about 60, 70 meters on the next person. Should be good to lock up this spot as he starts his kick progression. Pair here, close enough to have a battle. Brady, newfound. Bishop Brady in front and they will maintain that way through the finish line. John Stark looking to make a pass. Lebanon with a couple looks over the shoulder, looks again. John Stark going to the arms, Lebanon still has enough in it. They'll win that battle. And a bit of a gap before we get our next athlete. Ethan coming to the finish now. Nice job. Lebanon. Let's go, Gavin. Bring it home. Followed by his teammate. Yeah, Gavin. Let's go. Is it him? Yeah. Woo! Oh my God. Lacona, yeah, head down, kicking it in. Merrimack Valley to follow. As well as Belmont. Get to look across the track again as we got another little bit of a gap. See John Stark eyeing the finish, looking into the sun. Gets on to the final straight. And he wraps up the race. Merrimack Valley taking a look over his shoulder. Finish up. Lynn Wood with a strong kick, bringing it home. Newfound, now on the straight. Picks up the pace there to finish things out. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get ready for the girls' race. Once again, New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runners Alley.